Hello my gorgeous Pisces, it's been a long time since I've seen you, since I recorded a video for you. Um, let's do a love reading, but before we get started, I'm just going to light a candle, essential item for readings. Um, I'm not sure how this Mer Mercury retrograde in Pisces is affecting you. I would love to know in the comments, just for research purposes. I hope um, that you're doing okay and that it's not turning everything upside down for you. As you probably already know, the planet of Mercury, it, it's the planet of communication. So... Um, technology goes haywire. There's uh, everyone's more accident prone when when the planet is going backwards. But there's misunderstandings, you know, between people. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you've been impacted at all. So here we go. We're going to get a general wise card. This is a new deck, just to get the overall energies first to start with, Pisces. Okay, hang on. Put a tune into your energy first. The return journey is perhaps an underrated trip. There's the overall message. Let's see what that means. The six of spades. It says, travel but not for leisure. Heavier changes, involuntary distance. So this card generally refers to a less successful trip, business trip, or perhaps taking an un perhaps taking a necessary journey that you had to make. It can even represent a less pleasant development or an unwanted distance from someone or something. Traveling is always an opportunity to develop, even the less pleasant ones, because they can show you what you want to have at home, your daily life. Um, oh, sorry, what, what you have at home, your daily life is better than what you may have felt it was when you were right in the thick of it. Okay, so having a look at things in a different perspective. Okay. Um, this is supposed to be a love reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the Oracle of Visions and first get your energy in love, Pisces. Can I please get Pisces energy in love? putting the pieces of the puzzle together, okay? Maybe you're trying to figure things out in this relationship. Um, maybe you're trying to place yourself in your partner or the person that you're interested in into their life and seeing how they fit into yours. Yeah. Um, this, is, this came up upside down, and this is someone that's concerned with practical matters, you know, work, um, where they're putting their time and energy. They're trying to gain some kind of balance and they're trying to reprioritize their life. So perhaps things feel like they're all over the shop at the moment because maybe because of Mercury retrograde, but this did come up upside down, okay? Um, monkey business is what just popped up in my head. Don't know if that makes any kind of sense to you right now. But yeah, the card is all about... Um, The card upright means perseverance. 
So perhaps you're lacking a bit of motivation at the moment. Um, but the message on the card is difficult things take a long time, impossible things a little longer. So maybe things are taking a lot more time and effort than they normally do right now. If you want to make progress, progress in your relationship or even in your day-to-day -day life, things might just seem like they're, they're more effort at the moment. Um, yeah, this is another card of um, trying, to, trying to find balance. Look at it. So you've got the yin and yang symbol in the middle and you've got a man that seems to be juggling two things. Um, let me have a look at that meaning. Yeah, it's about balance and equality. So it's saying, despite our differences, by changing our position, stance or direction, we may find a common ground and jointly interact. This process is made easier when both sides participate in unison. So maybe this is talking to this first card that we got um, about the necessary travel that you've had to take, Pisces. I don't know where that card went. Anyway, um, so perhaps you're trying to make things work and bring things into balance while you're um, on the move with your partner. Okay, and it's, and it's quite a challenge. And you're kind of questioning what t time and effort they're putting in to bridge the gap. Um, yeah. So you're trying to, so obviously this is yin and yang, um, male and female energy, right? And it's saying despite their fundamental differences, this joker who's um, dancing, he's forming himself in a position so that their opposites are transformed and their shapes now morph to one of complementary yin and yang harmony. Masculine and feminine. Balance by default requires a quality of purpose, so common direction between you and your partner, position and desire. Both sides of a pivotal point must consider the position of the other. If one side fails to cooperate, balance is lost. Okay, so that might be like the overall energy of um, this love connection at the moment. Yeah, making sense of your place in each other's lives. Trying to gain clarity. Um, trying to make sense putting the pieces together, coming to conclusions. Um, sorry, we'll get on to your tarot in just a second. Let's just get the other person's energy, the other person that you're involved with, interested in, your soulmate. Let's just get the other person dealing with Pisces, their energy, please. definitely look like you're moving in different directions look this is the other person so the connection is the pearly gates right that's your that's your relationship sorry it's going blurry I don't know why sorry Mercury retrograde come on now so this is them and this is like, you know, you're behind the gates over here. I definitely feel like you are moving in different directions. I don't know where this necessary travel, like how that comes into play, whether it was for work or, you know, a sick family member making you Pisces, like needing to, like you need to move or temporarily go away. Um, but yeah, I think it's shaking things up. 
but it's definitely giving you a new perspective on this relationship because this card here is all about perspective and points of view. And um, it, this card is all about, it's not easy to be calm when you've found something going on, but take your time, think a lot, for you will still be here tomorrow, but your dreams may not. It says, there may be no right or wrong. The view is the same, but the perception is different. Fresh ideas and experience sharing the same eyes, but a different vision. Okay, interesting. So you're trying to um, reconcile two different opinions, two different paths, two different visions, two different plans about where you're going in the future. Okay, yeah. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Yeah, look, because this is about, even though she's walking away from wherever you are, Pisces, this card is about unison, common goals, shared values, um, a sense of belonging, um, being at one with your surroundings and your relationships with others, moving together with a common direction and purpose. Okay, interesting. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but I'm hoping that you are making sense of these messages coming through. Perhaps um, you two needed to go your separate ways and you agreed um, that you would just see how things went. Like you, you agreed to go your separate ways as two single people and this is you letting the butterfly go and or this is you, the butterfly, and this is them. They've let you go um, and they've kind of said, if you return, I mean, then it was always meant to be. If not, um, then, you know, it just wasn't. It was never meant to be in the first place. So, it's like a parting of ways, definitely, in the cards. Okay, let's get their feelings about you, Pisces. How does, they, how does the other person feel towards Pisces? Eight of yeah, wands, that's movement. That's that's you moving away from them because it came up in the reverse, guys. The eight of wands is all about movement and it's communication as well. But um, if this is you moving away from them, how do they feel towards Pisces? flyers here. I don't want to really go with them because there's just too many. So they're feeling emotionally unavailable or you are emotionally unavailable Pisces because the King of Cups just flew out in the reverse. In the upright the King of Cups knows what he wants, he's emotionally intelligent, um, sensitive, in the reverse, he's emotionally unavailable. Perhaps that's you, it could be them. I'm reading energy, guys, so it can always be reversed. How do they feel towards Pisces? This card wants to come out here. Yep, this has caused a lot of anxiety and anguish and sleepless nights, guys, okay? Um, and I feel like this move or this um, distance was quite sudden because here's the, the Knight of Swords and that's a really sudden energy and unexpected sometimes, you know, and quick, swift movement. Let's get your feelings towards them, Pisces. How are you feeling towards them? I don't feel you're revealing your true feelings because the Seven of Swords just came out and that is a card about deception and dishonesty. Okay, let's see. You feel like this connection came to a sudden halt. Yep, this is you leaving. 
Eight of um, Cups is about abandoning a situation, um, leaving someone behind. Again, the Eight of Cups came out, guys. Um, yeah, and the, the Wheel of Fortune has come out and it's come out in the reverse. So I feel like, obviously the Wheel of Fortune in the upright is forward progress, it's movement, it's change. But things were, um, you know, halted, interrupted with the reversed Wheel of Fortune. But look, there is still hope because the judgment card has come out and this is about something coming back from the dead, something being revived. Um, this is about resurrection. So if you guys do want to um, work on this connection, it can be, it can survive this distance if you want it to. What is the likely outcome? What's the likely outcome for Pisces and their love interest, please. Likely outcome. Ah, beautiful. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, dreams coming true. So, um, yeah, what, what did I say? If you want to... If you want this relationship to survive, it can. It's up to you. You've got the wishes fulfilled card, guys. Can't get much better. And I always say that in the outcome position. It's funny. It's funny. So things always work out. That's the attitude I take. They always work out for everyone's highest good. You really have to trust that. This is you standing your ground, defending your position, okay? The Seven of Wands. So um, it can warn of, um, you know, being stubborn and not reaching out because of ego. Um, so just try not to do that, Pisces. It never ends well. If you love someone, be honest and you know, put your ego aside. That's what love is all about. I'm, I hate seeing the Seven of Wands and I see it often. I have been seeing it often in love readings. Okay. Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay, I do feel like this is in relation to your needing to go away because the Six of Wands is victory after a battle. So you have only just gone in and entered battle, meaning you, you, it, something has taken you away. But that doesn't mean you won't be back. Okay? Yep, this relationship is blocked for the time being because here we have the Two of Swords, which is a blockage. Um, it's a stalemate situation, people unable to be together, um, and here you are single, the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who's independent um, and flying solo at the moment. Hope this, this has made sense. Um, Pisces, please leave me comments. I always do really appreciate your feedback. It's really important to me. So um, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.